Okay, so we've come to try and make a template for our email newsletter and this is what you get. You'll see that when you scroll over these different sections, they're blocked out and you can move these around by holding your cursor on the little square in the corner, moving it up and it says drop block here. So the bit where it's going to go goes blue, which is really helpful. So I can just move that to there. I can move different things up and down. So I'll edit this top bit first. Here you can write your message. What's happening at St Saviour's this week? Or whatever it is you want to write. That's the bit that appears at the top of the email. It's good to have images in your email newsletters. So again, I'm going to click on this block here and you can browse for an image on your computer. And I've already added one here, so I'm going to select this picture here. If you wanted to upload one of your church or whatever it is, click on upload and you can upload the picture and then it will appear underneath and you click select. Now, it gives you a warning that the image is a bit too big for a lot of inboxes. So if you click on let's fix it, it tells you that the images should be around 600 to 800 pixels wide. So I'm going to click let's fix it. Now this one's over a thousand pixels wide. So I'm going to change it to 800 because that was the recommendation. So I just typed in 800 there. Click apply. Click save. Just doing it. So now I've resized the image and it appears there. Click on this box. And then you can just type in whatever you want into the box there and click save and close. You'll see that all the options like you would normally get in a Word document or anything like that just appear here. So you can fiddle around with all sorts. You can add images. It's just like sending any, any kind of email really. Um, click save and close when you're happy. So scroll down and you can see all these different boxes. You can add different things. So if you wanted to add links to your social media you can move this little box here into the section you want it i'll pop it here and there you need to put the address of your say your church facebook page if you wanted to use it okay now i'm not going to do that one so i'm going to delete it so i just if i just click here delete box it asks you if you're sure i am I click delete and then it disappears again. So you, it's quite easy to use. You can move these things around, you can do what you want with them. This bit at the bottom will automatically appear. So leave this as it is. If you, when you created your account, you should have filled in these sections. And what it will do is it will pull the information of your church um, address and all the rest of it into there. Okay, so just leave that one at the bottom. And you can add images, do different things. And that's basically how you create your template. Once you're happy with it, click save and exit. Give your template a name, general use, click save. And there's your template already for your first newsletter.